I thought that last episode would be kind of boring because, you know, we're taking a little bit of a rest day from the, the first exam to the second exam. But, like, it was really fun to see, like, slice of life moments between these people that are trying to kill each other just to have wholesome moments in the, in the, in the village, right? Finding the old restaurant, you know, donut girl, grandpa fucking thank you, and the, and the, and the, and the granddaughter, fucking weird bell, you know, taking Stark out to hunt some shit. Fucking you bell Riz with the other guy. I don't know. I, I found that very fun. And, and of course, Freed and Steak and uh, Farron Donuts. Now, we're going into the second exam, and apparently it's a pass rate of 0%, but surely, because now our actual main characters are going to do it, we're going to pass. Let's begin today's reaction, though. At the ruin of the king's tomb, northern lands. Wait, bald. Bald. I see Baldi, and yes, there are some characters here that hasn't been introduced in the anime in the first exam intentionally to kind of hide them because, you know, if you see everybody, it's kind of boring. Yeah, no one's passed. Okay, these three dudes. These three dudes, Baldi, uh, these three are new too. <laughs> Survive. Okay, if it's so easy, why can't anyone pass it? Opening! Conquering the Labyrinth. Labyrinth means more mimics for freedom, ass, and feet service. So just go deep into the tomb. Okay. Everyone can technically pass. We can all help each other. Wow, Baldi's getting some lines. I mean, she's just kind of saying like, you're trash if you don't get to do this. If you want to be a first class magician, just get good. Skill is you. Come on, Baldi. Wait, she's coming with? So she's just gonna like follow us and like people like run into like a minotaur or like different monsters. She'll just watch us die. <laughs> How's her hair moving? Then again, it's magicians. Why am I asking this? All right, it's like a last resort. So she has no intentions of people dying. Last test, well, that was a different proctor. Bro is fine with people dying, but Sensei is a little bit more reasonable. I don't know. Is, is Sensei really reasonable? Because like, weren't people hyping this girl to be like ridiculous and like this exam is like impossible and like this girl is insane? But last proctor. Even though he seemed really inhumane, like, it was pretty... Uh, we still did it. So everyone could help each other out. There's no need to fight against each other. <laughs> Look at you, Bell, you're trying to raise him up more. <laughs> we should work together. Why wouldn't we? Everyone can pass. Why wouldn't you want to help each other out? Unless you want to gatekeep. That's right. This dude's gonna die first. I don't care. I hope there's a moment where this dude is in trouble and Dinkin's around and he goes, PLEASE! SAVE ME! And Dinkin just goes, he's like, you're a man, aren't you? Just like how he said when he wanted to fucking fist fight. I offered help! You said no, fuck you! Yeah, but everyone can pass. Why would you not help each other, you dumbass? Don't you wanna- Ugh. Okay, becoming someone's sacrificial pawn is a good point, though. This guy 100% gonna go die first. No, alone! This guy's 100, 200% gonna die first! You bell might kill him, actually. All right, there goes Baldi's group. I can't believe we won him by himself. What? I, I bet Denkin will be down. This is kind of funny to me. Look at Sensei, just like look at Freedom right here. <laughs> What's she doing? I feel like this is such a memeable picture. I, I feel like there's so many moments in this anime, just like still frames, that's just so good for random memes. Like, look at this. What's she looking at? Umu. Why would Sensei? Oh, well, obviously, because Frieden is her. Like, this is a cracked group, right? But, like, she knew immediately. Hmm, okay. Well, she also saw us fucking break the barrier. Sensei straight up. Wait. <laughs> wait, she straight up, like, she just picked us because it's like, seems like you guys are gonna have the easiest time. And I don't wanna deal with some bullshit. So I'm gonna go with your group. Flashback time. We're gonna have a flashback, then we're gonna see Frieden caught in a mimic with their gyat and feet hanging out, like every time. 
Now, why'd he love it? I bet he just enjoyed Frida getting fucking gulped by the fucking mimic and her gat sticking out, dude. I bet that's why he made love the dungeons. Oh, he's a completionist! I'm sorry, I like when I'm playing Diablo, I don't got time for fucking 100%. When I'm playing RPGs, like I, I don't care about exploration or 100%. I'm just like point A to point B, I'll skip everything else and later I'll come back for some shit if it's important. I I'm just I'm just too fucking lazy, man. You probably should be a completionist though. That's right, you're gonna die one day. <laughs> yeah, you enjoy putting your friends in danger? You've got the heart of an adventure. He did. The Rizzler himself? Perfect bait for freedom right there. He knows exactly what makes her tick. See? Too easy. Wow, she's actually smiling a lot. Lavine and Kane staring at Stai. Like, they don't have to go in? Are they just waiting? Oh, right, because technically Frida and, and them aren't really... They're not... They were forced into a team. Uh, I thought we had to be, you know, with our old group, but okay, okay. Maybe Denkin wants more granddaughters. Richter, why are you giving that? Okay, I know Richter was trying to kill these kids a couple episodes ago, but that's crazy that he's still staring at them like this. What the fuck, Richter? <laughs> This is his Denkin impression? That's pretty bad. Mimic mentioned every time. No, multiple times in couple first episodes of Freedom. There's been like repeated scenes of Mimic fan service for Freedom. You know there's going to be an idiot there that's going to get trapped by Mimic, dude. 100, 200%. No, she's in there right now. So is Zenzei just going to watch Freedom? Just yeah, here it is. There's the Mimic. Here we go. Stop! You know what's gonna happen! It's not a grimoire! It's a mimic! I wonder what Sensei's thinking. It's just 99% accurate. What if there's that 1% chance that's a grimoire, huh? What if it, what if, right? Alright, we're gonna ignore the 99% certainty. What is Sensei thinking right now? <laughs> She's thinking, what an idiot. I can't believe this is the one I chose. Cap. She gonna get swallowed. <laughs> the cope, dude. The fat. <laughs> Every fucking time. Every fucking time, dude. I swear to God, there's like at least like like 10, 10 fucking scenes of freedom being stuck in a mimic like this. Like straight up. Do you know how like what, how much of a trademark this is for freedom? There's a cosplayer. Uh, nah, I, I don't want to tell you whose cosplayer this is, but basically on Twitter, there's like these Japanese girls that was like cosplaying as freedom and fern and like. She, they, she, they would like have that potion that like you know makes their clothes go away that, that's plot that's actual thing plot and they, they would like pour it over them and then they would like put their head in the fucking the, the mimic and a bunch of dudes bunch of dudes have their cameras they're, like, they're all like you know photographing cosplayers and she's just like sticking her it's real ridiculous because the girl has to stick her head in there and stick her ass up and make sure that it looks good while everyone else is just fucking taking pictures anyways yes this is this is this is where the inspiration is from the fucking mimic scenes yeah That's a voice acting I haven't heard. So much fucking content will be made from this episode alone, dude. Jesus. Jesus. What? How does that work? You're just grabbing her fucking booty cheeks from above? What is that grip? What is that fucking grip, dude? Look at this first class mage sensei. Just witnessing. Perhaps one of the greatest mages of all time. Gets stuck in a fucking mimic. And her fucking kid has to pull her out. What is she thinking? What is sensei thinking? Is she thinking like these kids are so dumb? Obviously, Frieden's not a kid. Wrong people to follow. Denkin's party, where are they going? Trap! It's a trap! Yeah, I think that is the fucking splat, right? That's what he saw on the rooftop, too. Hmm? This looks like a boss room, man. Uh-oh. Gargoyles! I want 
Denkin to punch it, dude. Suyoi. Oh, she's actually moving. Let's see what she can do. I mean, I mean, it was just a gargoyle. It was just a gargoyle, but still. Who's that? It's like, wait, I thought you could do one or the other. You know, wasn't that like a fundamental rule in magic? You can only do offense or defense, but she has a barrier up and that barrier is then making a beam out of it. Isn't that kind of insane? Or is that teamwork? Maybe it is teamwork. Because if that was all her, that's kind of insane, right? Okay, are you sure you're a mage? <laughs> Poor pink girl almost died. Oh, she's, she might actually die. Oh, no. No. You would... You wouldn't! That can save her! Is she gonna die? Denken! Denken! Hello? Damn, that wall's pretty sturdy. Oh. Then we have no choice. Let's leave. Alright, oh, she could technically save herself like that. Oh, Golem! Imagine the golem is not enough. <laughs> the golem is hauling ass. Yo, what is that? What is the golem wearing right there? Look at this shit, dude. <laughs> bro, bro is wearing just a golem thong. Bye. And this is just my. Oh, 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 oh. M more, more fan service. Oh. Harder. Come on, harder. What? Stop pulling? You want me to push instead? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? You, you, we push in? I, so like, back during the Himmel days, like who was the, it was Himmel doing this? Every time Frieden got stuck, was Himmel the one doing this? I swear to God, the only reason Himmel loved fucking, you know, adventuring the labyrinth back then was only because he was in Fern's position before. All right, make us choke and stop biting. All right, make that shit choke. Wait, you're not gonna show me it! They off-screened it. But at least you can see Frieden here, all wet. Yeah, Himmel did it, right? Oh, she just blew shit up from within. Frizzy hair Frieden. <laughs> she looks like an Ojo sama here now. All she has to have is that Otome villainous laugh now. <laughs> you got stuck again? Two? Can we make three? It's just junk. <laughs> what is she thinking? What is Zenzei thinking every time she goes to Umu? I don't get it either. <laughs> Why does it make her happy? She just lost sanity. You guys think that she's being a happy elf here? No. This is what happens when you've lived through thousands of years and you go slowly crazy. She's got insane. She's fucking insane. She is that crazy person yelling at people on the street saying the rapture is coming. Yeah, she's rubbing it on her cheek. What is the fucking subtitles today? What the fuck? There's so much non-intentional fucking fan service today. More fan... Hype. No passion or determination. Farron is a very interesting case, right? Because she's been taught from Frieden, the legendary mage, from like, as, a, as, a, as a toddler. And she only knows basic magic too, which kind of adds on to this like lack of passion or determination because she pretty much does the most simple shit. And like the way that she looks at people is very like empty and sometimes it's scary. The way that she's floating in the moon, like, uh, like she's floating behind the moon, right? And like she looks down on you. Like, I think this is just a mix of like... Some people say Farron is... Acoustic and I would agree because like she hasn't really socialized with other kids her age, you know She's always been alongside with Fre Freedom. She's been being fucking trained by this like schizo fucking boomer who's always trying to find grimoires I don't know. I feel like this is all because Freedom didn't raise Farron properly. You're a strange girl Blame Freedom Ouch so now she's just roaming around, eating desserts. No ambitions or goals right now. She's just chilling. I don't know. She's just stuck with freedom, right? 
楽しそうでしょ。Yeah, she just stuck with there, just traveling. ダンジョンに潜った時も、フリーレン様はガラクタみたいな魔道具を集めて楽しそうに笑っ。Oh, she's actually smiling again. She's just basically along the ride for freedom, then. All right. Would be cool if she had her own dreams and ambitions, though. But it's interesting that Sensei brings that up. And she keeps smiling at them, too.、Huh. Enjoy this brutal dungeon. All right. This looks like a boss room. What's here? Some kind of. Diamond plot. Oh, wow. I, I thought that shit was gonna be a fucking cliffhanger right there. I thought the ending was gonna start playing. What is this shit? They just kind of baited us with bling diamond. This is like what the rarest fucking treasure in this labyrinth? The king's bling? I don't know. Weird Bell's party. Getting closer. Okay. I wonder what happened to that one guy that went solo. We haven't seen him yet. But. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. That's. Uh, Ubel, Ubel is using it, right? Who else does that feel? It's gotta be Ubel, right? Ooh. See? You blocked the vision, you can't seal. Smart, smart, smart. Where are you at, Ubel? I know you're here. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are there dolls here? You're a... What? We're against ourselves. I, it's not you, Bella. The dungeon creates copies. The dungeon creates copies of them, and then you gotta fight the copies. I see. Okay. Thinking that's to kill his granddaughter? I know it's not his granddaughter, but you know. Damn! Through the wall, but was that enough? Dude, this girl again. This girl is pretty hype. She took her out. Okay, this girl, I thought that she might be a random fodder, but like based on like two scenes, right? The first scene was saving Richter, fucking putting up the barrier and shooting the beam, and now this, like, yo, this girl's kind of cracked, isn't she? No, no, she was Demons were monsters. I thought it's like a labyrinth, like self defense no, mechanism. No, no, yeah, imagine it looked like a regular human and started like attacking us. Who's doing this? Someone that can control multiples of those. A demon or a monster? I thought it was just some random labyrinth mechanism, man. Yeah, who maintains these candles here, man? Here we go. Boss room. Oh, God. Here we go. Something's descending. Oh God! What is it? Is it Frieden? Is it Frieden? Is it Frieden, is it Frieden or Fern? Uh oh! <laughs> Bro, we need to get out immediately. <laughs> oh shit! It's Frieden copy. That is so unlucky. I thought people had to face themselves, but she just shows up here like this. Ending. Please don't cliffhanger me. Please don't. Ah! God damn it! More cliffhangers. But holy, I thought that like, once people reach a certain layer of the labyrinth, the labyrinth has some kind of self-defense mechanism, and like the last trial is like you gotta beat your own copies. But like, this isn't Frieden versus Frieden. This is Frieden showing up versus like Denkin's party. This is looking actually fucking so dangerous. And as Denkin said, like if she, if this shit wasn't a test, yo, I would be out immediately, bro. This is looking so dangerous, and this also implies that hey. Where is Farron's copy, right? It's like, I don't know. Also, if this is not part of the test, and if there's some kind of outlier monster or demon interfering, that implies that there could be a copy of Sensei 2, a first class mage. I don't really know where we're going with this, but interesting twist of new enemy threats that I can actually be hyped for rather than random, you know, dungeon monsters. And I think the uh, highlight of today's episode is more mimic fan service. And yes, I'm sure without a doubt, every single one of you, as soon as we enter the labyrinth, we're like, yep. We're gonna get the Mimic fan service. Yep, here comes some Freedom fan service. Somehow, this show, even though it doesn't show any titties, and like the fan service is so conservative, I feel like people just make way more lewd content because it's conservative. You know what I mean? They wanna like lewd the thing that's not lewd. So they're gonna have a fucking field day with this, and I'll be there. 
with the bookmark. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.